about wonder what they would eat. And uh, about two o'clock that morning, I conceived Tom's rattle crab and brought it up here the following summer. What do you do? And how you know we're trying to get the fish maybe uh, out there 50 feet away. What goes through your mind when you start your cast? First, I want to lead the fish, and I want the, the fly to sink down. If the fish doesn't respond immediately, I twitch it a couple of times, just a couple of one-inch twitches to give it a little, a little rattle, and uh, then I just watch the fish. Generally, you can't feel the He's fish eating, but you can see them open up, and then the line will come He's going to eat it. Sight fishing yeah. is exactly that. It's as much hunting right as it is fishing. The, other side of this weed the boat charm. is pulled along from the tower giving the guide great visibility as he searches the shallows for fish. They're on these flats searching for crabs, shrimps, worms, and anything else to eat. At times, bass can be difficult to see, but today it's ideal sight conditions. Bright sun, light wind, and the fish are oh, here. God, is it pretty today, huh? Nice, nice. Come on and eat. Good head-on shot, Tom. Come on, fish. He's looking. There you go. All there right. Go. All right. All right. Good All going. Right. Good going. Good going. Good going. Nice size fish. Nice too, size Tom. fish. Nice bass. Need any help there, Tom? <laughs> nice bass. Beautiful Great. fish. Need any help there, Tom? Great. Great. Very nice fish. Well done, Tom. Good Very cast, nice everything fish. else. Well done, Tom. Good cast, everything else. Great going. As Tom releases a fish for another day or another angler, it's Randy's turn. Randy guides beach fishermen and is on the water daily. Here, he's on a busman's holiday, flats fishing. You're gonna have to You're gonna back, have cast, to back cast at one o'clock, Randy. Randy. There's a whole bunch, whole on, bunch your right on your right at one o'clock there. there. All right. Good shot. Good shot. Look at him boiling out there. Yeah. He got him! Good job. <laughs> uh, good going, Randy. Hey, beauty, I'm going to get my uh, yard stick out on this one, I think. Nice going, Randy. <laughs> Posing for a picture of record, the striper is gently yeah, put back uh, and quickly swims away. Once more, Tom proves the effectiveness of the crab fly. At times, it seems the only thing that, that works on Monomoy's spooky stripers. He wants it. He wants it. He ate it. He ate it. Right on. Good one. Ah, Tom's rattle crab does it again. Yeah. He looks 28, 29 inches. If you too would like a shot at this sight fishing game, give Rich a call. Bob Luce, a name synonymous with stripers, captains what else? The striper out of Howichport, and fishes the waters south to Monomoy and Nantucket and beyond. A bass fisherman for 40 years, he guides anglers all season long. Here with sons Jim and Tom, they're trolling jigs for big stripers somewhere east of Nantucket. He prides himself in the fact that his sons are also pros, both are commercial hook fishermen out of Weechmere Harbor. His love for fishing shows. 
and his knowledge of the countless rips south and east of Chatham would fill volumes. Bass of this size are commonly caught on the striper with Captain Bob. Bob traded his commercial fishing for chattering and now ties flies while reflecting on days he made a living rod and reeling big bass. In fact, many 50 pounders in an almost world record 71 pound striper. Bass of that size number may be a dozen ever caught. In addition to his personal accomplishments, Bob has earned seven IGFA world records on his boat, including the women's 16 pound test tippet for a 20 pound striper by Marsha Benson and a four pound test world record for myself with a 19 pounder. Bob developed along with his fly rod custom as a method of casting from his drifting boat that feeds the line out to sink the fly down to fish that lie just beyond the rip. Big flies, sinking lines, and lots of backing. Bob called it orange string back then. Hookups occur when the fly is retrieved just about the time it swings through the first wave or two. Bluefish 2 slam these flies. Trolling flies or poppers in that critical strike zone also produces. The more commotion sometimes gets more hits. When two or three anglers are fishing at the same time, trolling is most effective. This is a typical catch. Bob's day frequently begins before sunup. Commercial boats are on their way offshore while sleepy tourists are still in bed. Surf fishermen too await the dawn, a time when fish are actively feeding in the low light levels and first light peeks over the tip of Monomoy and the bite is on. Join good friends George Ryan and Peter Alves for the Bob Luce Rip Special, Big Stripers. His philosophy is big fish like big flies. This does not feel like a bluefish. We were only here 45 seconds, maybe. Yeah. Oh, bloody, he's going into that orange string. Go ahead on the other side. Bust Watch. him up. Did you? Yeah. We need a pro. No, no, I got the fly. He just came loose. Oh. That happened. Damn it. That didn't take long, Peter, huh? Beautiful fish, George. Nice. Look at that! That's beautiful! <laughs> well, I tell ya, that fly rod handles that fish fine. Oh, that fish is 33. What do you think, Bobby? You. 36. You want to measure it? Get no, I believe you. You're the boss. Yeah, just about 36. Uh, come on. 36? 36. Nice stuff. On the beautiful. money. Very good. Thank <laughs> you.